I'm going to show you guys a minimally inflammatory meal. So regardless of what stage of life you're in, especially if you have health issues, this is an excellent, excellent base of foods to start with. Keyword, a starting point. So this isn't nutritionally complete. It doesn't have the best vitamin to mineral ratios. That being said, you can use this and then add supplements, whether it be an actual physical bottle supplement or a food like salmon roe or caviar to get some omega-3. Start with this, see how you tolerate it for a week, two weeks, three weeks, and then take it from there. Let me explain why I made certain food choices today. Our protein source is veal. And the reason I chose veal over beef is because it's lower in iron. I noticed I have better gut motility and overall I sleep a lot better when eating veal as opposed to beef. You know, just the color of the meat, it's much lighter. It's kind of pinkish gray as opposed to deep red that indicates the physical iron content of the meat. Uh, you know, you might try to go for chicken or pork or something else, but those animals are fed poor quality feeds. I tend to react to the things in those. So from a minimal pollution perspective, a minimal inflammation perspective, lean, high quality beef is the best choice for most people. If you can get the veal that has a slight edge over it because the iron in the meat isn't going to you know, promote pathogenic gut bacteria, promote high amounts of liver damage when you eat a lot of it. For the carbohydrate, we have two things. Uh, one is gonna be regular white russet potatoes, organic to remove some of the chemical concerns. And I also have some organic apples I bought just because you know if you just eat potatoes and meat every meal, you're gonna eventually crave a little something. That's what the apples are for. We have some salt to season the meat. And one very important thing about reducing inflammation is the cooking method. So we want to cook both the veal and the potatoes as minimally as possible without really charring them at all. Because when you get that mired reaction, when you really heat the food, it does make it harder to digest. Uh, so we're gonna take some coconut aminos and poach the meat in that, cook it really nice and gently pretty fast. And for the potatoes, we're gonna dice them up and saute them in coconut oil just until they're tender. If you're fortunate enough to have family members that believe Lysol and dish soap are health foods, you definitely wanna rinse all your materials with some filtered water, wipe them off to get that residue that's full of chemicals and bad things. You know, I washed off my knife, my cutting board, my pots, my pans, everything I need to cook this. So we're going to peel the potatoes, dice them up, get them in the pan with some coconut oil to get them started as they take longer than the meat. Then we're gonna dice up the meat, put them in the pan, same thing. Whole meal should be ready in about 15 minutes of cooking time, mainly for the potatoes. From a health perspective, if you can peel something, it tends to be the better idea. Uh, it's actually funny that uh, some people think there's nutrition in the peels of the skin. I think that was some type of uh, nonsense agenda to get people to consume more chemicals. Gotta cut these reasonably small, otherwise it's gonna take forever to cook. So in our pan on high heat goes two tablespoons of coconut oil. And this is the main fat component of the meal. Uh, coconut oil is antimicrobial and it's also giving us that caloric energy so we don't crave it too much. Take some filtered water, maybe half a cup, salt in the water to distribute it. And then put in our potatoes. This is pretty good because if you crowd the pan too much, it's gonna take even longer to cook. Okay, so that's ready. So this is the veal top round we have on Frankie's free range meat. What I normally do is I, I cut this into like six or seven steak portions, and then I'll put that in parchment paper back in the fridge. Okay, so you can see both sides here. Top round is very classically used in roast beef. And I think we actually did a roast beef recipe, but you know, the beef is actually like way bigger. It's like this big. And as you could see, you know, this is shaped like a steak. So you can just go da, 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 da. You have, you know, seven or eight steaks and you can cook them like steaks. That's what I normally do. But, you know, if I want something minimally inflammatory that also cooks pretty quickly, I dice this up. Got a couple strips of veal and we'll just dice it up. Now in this pot, I'll put a couple tablespoons of coconut aminos just for some flavor. And you can marinate these in the aminos. This doesn't really add that much flavor to them because they're only cooking them briefly. 
bit of salt, and here goes the veal. Our water is boiling for our potatoes. Keep that covered to speed up the cooking. You could add a little bit of coconut oil in here, I usually do. It's not necessary. And then as this heats up, you know, the meat's gonna lightly poach, turn gray, and then we'll just take it out. So while this stuff is cooking, I'm just gonna peel two of my apples. Veal's bubbling a bit. It's about halfway cooked, I'll turn the heat off. So the potatoes are sticking a bit and the water's evaporated. Just add some more water here. Cover this back up. Veal is done. Only takes about two or three minutes on a high heat. I'll just kind of spoon it out into the plate. So after about 15 minutes, the potatoes are nice and tender. A Little bit of sticking on the bottom, but that's normal with a steel pan. Now the thing with potatoes is if you overcook them, they cause stomach issues. If you undercook them, they cause stomach issues. There is a pretty large margin of error with the happy medium, but you know, you'll kind of observe that if you make the mistake in either direction. So here is our minimally inflammatory meal, and believe it or not, it does taste pretty good. You know, it's seasoned with salt. We cooked it correctly. You can add more salt. You can add coconut oil to add more fat if you'd like to. From a nutrition perspective, we have B vitamins, protein, the animal mineral profile, and here we have carbohydrate energy, feed our gut bacteria, the plant mineral profile. And the reason I chose potatoes for this meal today as opposed to white rice, barley, wheat, pasta, other grains, other starches, is because of the mineral profile of potatoes. And it does contrast pretty nicely with any meat you choose. Let's have some veal. I'm taking really small bites, making sure to chew the food completely. Mainly the veal because a lot of the time when you cook carbohydrates this much, they don't need to be chewed that much. Another thing to keep in mind that ties in with the really chewing the food is don't drink too much water. Don't dilute your stomach acid. Don't dilute your stomach juices. You know, I was having that barley soup the other day. You might actually want to even take some digestive enzymes if the liquid in the meal is higher. So you take your time to chew that food. You relax. And you're also able to gauge your appetite, gauge your satiation, and not overeat. So I ate about half the veal, half the potatoes. I'll save this for tomorrow, so I don't have to cook again. Now in my experience, apples are one of the best fruits. Uh, pineapples are pretty good too. Uh, pears are okay. Green grapes are okay. Uh, I have some raisins actually too. Those are things I found to be fairly okay on the stomach. I mean, I have some cookies in the oven right now, so I don't always completely adhere to this minimal inflammatory thing, but I try to. Whatever organic apple is on sale. Of course, we have a fairly high water fruit, a little bit of B vitamins, sugar, you know, the fructose, the glucose, but more importantly, it, it's a high volume, so it's great for gut motility, really gets things going, fills up your stomach. The, the sucrose helps a little bit with that too. You know, you want something a little sweeter. If the apples are kind of like acidic, then just, you know, drizzle a little bit of honey on it. Uh, you could do some macadamia nut butter, which some people do have a problem with, so that's not the best choice. But, you know, if I liked coconut more, I'd probably do some type of coconut mana. Although I was carnivore for almost eight years, this is actually the diet that I typically had people follow even when I was carnivore. You know, my first question to them was, you know, are you looking to do carnivore or are you looking to keep plant foods in your diet? You know, I mean, as that main reason I was carnivore was because I didn't know how to orient my diet so I could tolerate plant foods. I mean, if you guys aren't having too much success with your diet, definitely try this out because I've tried just about everything myself and this was what I landed on. So thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please leave a comment down below, drop a like on the video, make sure you have that notification bell selected, and I will see you guys for tomorrow's video. If you do want to support me further, you can check out frank-stefano.com for diet consultations as well as my many other businesses. You can get the veal top round on Frankie's Free Range Meat. I think we still have some left. My cookies are ready.